I haven't found a downfall to the electronic e tags yet, and Breed Elite makes it easy. You put the whole lot together and shear them as one mob, and then take them outside and draft them off, and they're in in their great classing grades, and they're twins and singles and dries. Easily, one person can run them through the drafter and job's done. No more little mobs opening the shutting gates all day trying to feed them. Yeah, just simplifies things, no end. Hi, I'm Hayden. We're on the family farm in the Crowlands area, which is in the upper Wimmera, and we're a commercial wool flock. About 4,000 acres. We're currently joining 5,000 Merino ewes. We've been with Breed Elite since about 2018. We only got the program when we got the drafter. It just worked hand in hand. <coughs> Trying to use a prior system that was a bit harder and a bit more manual labour on the computer. And yeah, we didn't really know what we could do. We just knew we could do more than what we, what we were doing because we sort of didn't really know how far we could go with it, what we were going to be able to do because yeah, we'd never sort of experienced the EID tags or anything like that. Before Breed Elite, we were 1,500 ewes. About 500 of them joined to the white suffix terminals. We were trying to use different tags to keep different class and grades separate. They were over a bigger range as far as quality goes. If it was just dots and tags and lots of different colours and yeah, bring a mob in and you've got a rainbow running through the drafting race trying to trying to draft it. As far as your lamb production, you just sort of Oh well, we've got ewes out there that are in lamb. Hopefully they all rear them and we'll join them up again next year and hopefully they will have a lamb. But you never really sort of knew. We started preg testing and you had to have everything drafted off and then everything had to be kept separate. You had no spare paddocks on the farm at all. Everything was accounted for. If a gate come open, and you had two lots walk in together, you had to get them re, re preg tested or just wait and see what happens. So now it's one ear tag and it's all there and just run them back in and find out what's in the mob. We just wanted to be, be more productive and only have productive animals on the farm. Now that we're joining 5,000 ewes and they're all merinos, there's no difference between them. So yeah, it, uh, things have sort of grown in the last 10 years and yeah, it's the sheep, sheep side of it that's, that's really taken off. We can run, run bigger mobs right up until the point of lambing because we can draft them off very easily once we get to, to splitting them up into their lambing mobs. So feeding time is cut in about half. Instead of feeding 100 different mobs, we feed 10 and can lock them up in smaller sacrifice paddocks uh, to be then able to put them out on, on green grass if we're lucky enough, or some pressure paddocks to lamb. The machine itself, the actual drafter, is, is easy to use. You just plug it in and it just does its thing. One person can, can draft them, stand there, and once they're used to going through, you can just watch them walk through and draft three ways with no human error. They're walking away from the person rather than, than two of them standing up the front. They're just walking through to their, their mates out the front. We've even had comments from our preg tester. It's great preg testing ewes after they've been through an auto drafter because they stand there and wait for him to finish and then walk through. So they're used to just walking up and that's the way out. easy to change and we just, we had the EID tags in the sheep and as soon as we got the program, we started using it and away we went. Never sort of halted once we, once we started using it, we decided that 
we were going to utilise the EIDs once we had to have them in the sheep and went from there. Not getting as many dries coming through now because we've got rid of, rid of those ones over the first couple of years. It just sort of happens by itself, just about improving your sheep. You end up classing harder and harder at the start and you've got better sheep coming through in the terminal flock as well. Now we can actually look back and see that that ewe was pre-tested three times and it's joined to twins every time and never read a lamb. So yeah, before that you could never, never track it. More of a convenience than, than even a cost saving because one person can just go and do it and I can do it while mum and dad are off doing something else. And you just can't find people now, so you just got to set yourself up to do it. Do it yourself, not when other people are available. We just got to do it now, so everything else has got to stop. I can just, I'm going to go and draft them and run them in and run them through, and it's done. You know exactly what you've got, seeing how many you've got to twins and how many have had twins over the last four years, how many have raised their twins every year. Didn't think it was going to be quite so easy to get the information straight onto the, the computer, but uh, yeah, just scan it and it's it's there instantly. So it's just a good thing to look back and go, we are getting more productive and doing it easier. So it makes you feel like you haven't wasted your time and, and money, <laughs> that uh, yeah, what you're doing is actually working. Makes it worthwhile going out and doing that little bit extra work with them and bringing up your, the quality of your flock with it. So spend a little bit, make a bit more. Very confident with the way that we're going and the way that Breed Elite's going. Yeah, gonna keep working in our system very well.